back for the second leg of the Canadian Championship. However, this has been a very long, very strange week. It's been, in real time, it's been hours since I paused this recording. I watched Game of Thrones. Like, crazy stuff has been happening. You know, I'm not sure exactly why it took so long in-game... But just this week, there were just all kinds of emails and transactions and stuff and just throwing things at me. Now, on the good side, a couple things happened. First of all, we did manage to get the board to give us another coach, another spot for a coach. Because our training, we've just been, you know, overwhelmed when it comes to coaching. I don't know if we can look at it here, coaches uh what is it edit coach assignments is that it yeah so like everybody is you know average or heavy and we got a real deficiency right now when it comes to defensive when it comes to tactical you know we just got things we need to work out and get better in certain areas so we're gonna get one more coach we'll probably bring in a tactical coach Probably defensive, but if we can get somebody who's tactical, offensive, and defensive, who's better than two stars in both of those, we might bring him in. Or at least somehow rearrange our coaches so we got some better tactical coaching right now. We got a real problem there. And even possession, we got a problem there, technical side of things. So we got a lot of holes in our in our coaching to, to fix and to fill. So that's part one. So that was good. Um, we completed a trade with Toronto, of all people. Basically, we moved Berg. Berg, we mentioned him earlier in the episode. He's the right back. We got a plethora of right backs, so we needed him to move on, go to Toronto. They, they got holes in their roster. They need guys. They need bodies, basically. So Berg's going to go to Toronto. Hopefully he's going to get some playing time there or at least, you know, their training facilities and all that is at least as good as ours. So it's not going to harm his career if he goes there. It's just a matter of will he get more playing time there than he's going to get here? Probably, at least in the coming seasons. Now, speaking of trades and transfers and whatnot, we put a couple of guys out to be listed for you know transfers and trades and all that stuff we're sending flores perhaps out on loan because uh i, I want to bring other guys back from loan so we need to get rid of him and he's got 10 caps for honduras already at 23 years old so he's not gonna be for team canada so we're just gonna get rid of him and then, of course, the big transfer that we canceled came to my sense, senses. I don't even know where it is, transfer history. Do they even list, like, canceled transfers? I don't know if there's any way to see canceled transfers. But anyway, we, uh, we canceled the transfer for uh, Baloo because he got another offer from a spanish second division club a club with excellent training facilities and all that stuff so i'm like you know what we don't need him i just put out a flyer out there because he was listed he was unhappy all that stuff so if he can stay in spain with a fine club and get playing time there then we don't need him so i came to my senses on that one because i was going to have to do a lot of a lot of jiggering of the roster to, to make him fit. So here we are. Canadian Championship. Let's just play the game. Vancouver, Montreal. 1-1 one, one in the first series. By the way, also Toronto, Ottawa. Look at that. Ottawa up 2-1 on Toronto because they just don't have enough players to, uh, to deal. So I've been trying to like feed some players over to them. And we'll see. So Berg was the first. We'll see if anybody else can be the second. Um, yeah, so we are 6-4 to four favorites again on, on the road at Saputo Stadium. 16,000 tickets sold, so it's pretty good. 71 breezy with a chance of rain. 
So it's not the worst weather you've ever seen in uh, Montreal, but could turn out poor. Anyway, uh, Louis Gondola is the referee. He has not refereed a match this season, so that who knows what we're going to get from this guy. Let's go. We got our lineup. We got our Canadian lineup in there. Uh, on the bench, pretty much the same. We got Swesta in the bench now. We had to move a few things around. Oh, yeah, we got a hole in our roster at right back. So we will uh, we'll move Nerwinski up there. How's his fitness looking? He's at 94%, so he's fine. So we got to find another. We'll bring Kemry in. Do we have any more Canadians we could bring in? We're, we're running a little low on Canadians here. Uh, Hendricks, the striker. Uh, Flores did just get his Canadian citizenship, but he's injured. So I guess our only choice... Really is Kemry. Oh, another thing, uh, Arise or Ariche, however you pronounce his name. Uh, he, he came to us and he wanted to go. He's like, I need to go back home. I'm not feeling it here in Canada anymore. So we have transfer listed him. We'll see if he can uh, find some place to go. We we past the the roster date where we can just cut people, so we can't just cut him. Or he'll count against the salary cap. So here's our lineup. McMath in goal. Uh, Zlatkovic at left back. Henry, Godoy, Nerinsky. You saw him at right back. Uh, Tebert and Williams who played quite a bit together. Williams has most assists on the team with 4. 7-0 rating. He's played very well in the stints that he's got in the midfield. Raheem Edwards on the left. Colin in the middle. Adonija Reed. On the right, he's been complaining of playing time. And Hamilton, Jordan Hamilton, back from injury. We got him playing up top. He's progressing well. We need to get him more playing time. So we're going to do that. All right, hand over to the assistant and pep talk. I think there was one substitution I wanted to make. Yeah, Nerwinski, we don't need him on defense. Put him on support. So there we go. All right, tunnel. Talk is over. General reaction to the trade that you come out on the losing side. Eh, we'll let the assistant talk about that. So we traded Berg for a third round pick, which, yeah, is not great. But I didn't want to scare Toronto. Oh, chance of rain. It looks like 100% rain. Anyway, uh, Montreal, of course, in their blues and blacks and whites. And we are in the all whites of the away jerseys. Let's go. All right. So yeah, third round pick for Berg, not the greatest deal in the world, but I didn't want to scare Toronto away. I wanted them to take the deal and take the player. So that's the kind of stuff we're going to have to deal with sometimes when we make these trades with other Canadian teams is just sort of take the losing end of the, of the deal in order to get the deal done. So that's what we did. All right, so time is rolling so far. We're dominating. 62% possession, five shots, one on target. Playing well. Now this, um, no, wait, that is Montreal. I'm, I'm used to being on the left-hand side. Montreal is dominating. But we're trying to make a comeback here. We got up to 48% possession, so that's good. Uh, but the clock is still rolling. 25 minutes down already and not a highlight in sight. <sighs> They've got six shots, only one on target, but still, it's much better than we're doing. You know, when we switched to attack, we did a lot better against them in that first game. So we might change things up and go to attack. Here we go, first highlight of the game. Adanja Reed has it, looking out wide to Nerwinski, getting forward. He sends it in. Cabrera heads it to Tebert. He takes a wild shot. Not a lot. Not a lot behind that. Not a lot of thought. Not a lot of effort. Not a lot of intensity on that shot. Could have used something a little bit better there. I feel like we need to widen out our attack. Seems like our attack is just too, uh, too narrow at the moment. 
you know, because they got all this in the middle. Look at this. I mean, this is just clogging things up. So let's make some tactical changes. See, now we can go to tactics. So we're going to do a couple things. We're going to go attacking. Uh, in possession, we're going to go a little wider. We're going to hit early crosses. See if we can get the target man involved. Okay. That's that. Pep talk. All right, boys. Um, let's see. Let's be assertive. It's time for everyone to give what you got. We deserve to win. Let's go. All right. So, Nerwinski and Godoy are motivated. Good. And the uh, assistant coach managed to motivate everybody else. Good job. That's the first time I've seen him do anything in terms of motivating. So, outstanding. All right. Start the second half a little bit more aggressive. Let's see what we can do. Edwards and Reed not playing particularly well. Colin, again, with a poor rating, 6.4 rating. You know, uh, only 10 vision, only 10 passing. He's not exactly a playmaker at this point at 17 years old. He needs to improve a lot. We need this young man. Next year he'll be 18 years old. He's going to be getting a lot more playing time next year. We're going to start depending on him a little more. Because we won't have, uh, who, who am I talking about here? We won't have, um, yeah, Reyna. Why did I forget his name? Yordi Reyna. We won't have him next year. His contract expires, and we're going to let it expire at the end of the season just to get rid of him. Like, he's a good player. Don't get me wrong. In any other situation, I wouldn't do something like that. But we need to make room in the lineup. So, for now, we're going to get Colin out of there. Uh, other than that, we don't really have much we can do. Uh, Henry's got a yellow card, 6.4 rating. We can get him out of there. There we go. Bring in Kemry. Let's go. 72 minutes. Nil-nil, we lose, right? Because they've got the away goal. So, we need to... Not opposition instructions. No, no, no. What is this? How can I get rid of this? Cancel. Here we go. First highlight. Reed gets a talking to. They're going to get a free kick for Montreal. Ritala head sends it downfield. Kemri heads it. But Montreal gathers it in. Shamit Shomin off the bench. Sends one out wide to Camacho. Is that the highlight? Is that what we're talking about for highlights? Nope. Highlight is going to continue directly after that out of bounds. Slotkovich gets it to Edwards. Gets it back. Is he going to bomb it forward? He's going to dwell on it and then just crushes it. Home run to Hamilton. Look out. He's offside. But, man, that was a bomb. 78 minutes, the highlight is going. There's Hamilton trying to get back on side. See what Montreal can do. Now they're going to try a little bit of hoofball. They get it to Nacho. He crosses. Nobody there except for Zlatkovic. Edwards heads it on. Reyna's going to get called for a foul. That seemed, uh, yeah, I don't know about that one. So it's highlight after highlight all of a sudden. Shmeet Shom. He does have some special teams ability, but he just drops it off to Piatti. He's triple covered there. Shamit sends one wide. Okay, Diallo is out for Montreal. <laughs> I'm so used to playing as Montreal. I played a whole freaking career as Montreal one time, so it's hard for me to coach against them. But here we go. We're on the attack. Reed to Hamilton. He nearly gets it stolen, but Williams recovers. Hamilton, uh, you know, he's a little unsure of himself. Playing target man for some reason. You know, he sh that should be the p position he's most familiar with. I don't know why he's so unsure of himself. There's Nowinski to Reyna. Reyna's going to chip it forward for Edwards. Camacho on the defense. 
Come on, boys. We need a goal here. Tebert out to Edwards. Reyna, some nice passing. Reyna's going to try to take it wide. Zlatkovic plays it forward for Edwards. Can he use this burst of speed? Too much. Too much. 81 minutes. What's going on here with this confirmed changes? Confirm changes. Okay. Here we go. Read. 81 minutes. Maybe that's why we're getting so many highlights. This this perhaps is a real highlight. Tebert. Forward to Hamilton. That was a great pass. Great pass from the Canadian uh, national teammates there. They've been on the team. I, I'm pretty sure they've been on it together at least once. So we can call them national teammates. Tebert. I mean, look at that. This perfect timing with the pass. Hamilton slams it home. That's why we need to get this guy more playing time. Okay, we're going to see if it's offside. No, way onside. All right, that's good. We don't need to see it a third time. So now we can, uh, you know, drop her back a little bit. Tactics in possession. Hello? In possession. Let's do this, do this, do this. See if we can take our one goal victory and go home. 87 minutes. You know, because this is an all Canadian side, or mostly Canadian side. There's not a lot of starters in this lineup right now. Other than down the middle. There's Edwards to Hamilton. Ooh. Bush has to rise up over Hamilton. Three minutes of stoppage time is done. That was quick. Just boom, boom, boom. This should be the final highlight. There it is. Look at that. Easy. 1-0 over Montreal. We go on to the Canadian Championship final. Players are in good spirits. You done brilliantly. Let's go. So I've got a lot of these guys some playing time. We might be able to start them now in MLS. Start giving them some more game time in MLS because they're a little bit, you know, a little bit match fit. Okay. So, yeah, we win the Canadian Championship semifinal. Looks like we will be playing Ottawa in the finals. How about that? They got a lot of loanees from other teams. They got a lot of injuries as well. But, I mean, look at these loanees. Pantami, Blackman, Jaguar starting for the Canadian national team. This is a pretty decent team. Ottawa is Mike Johnson, the striker. 22 years old. Looks pretty good. 15 pace. 15 acceleration. Yeah. So Ottawa is obviously no pushover. They beat Toronto. Uh, they've got some roster issues. A lot of injuries. Suspension. Yeah. We'll see. See if, see if they've got enough Canadians. I mean, look at all these foreigners they got on the bench. All their Canadians are injured. All right. So anyway, we're going to end it there. And uh, come back for the next round of the Canadian Championship. And, uh, you know, then we'll probably move on ahead and get to some of our other competitions. So, until next time, we'll see you later.